Hello and welcome to the building of the Svensson Jungmeister. What we have here is by way of an experiment. Down the line obviously the model has to be covered and I don't think it would be appropriate to cover it in anything other than a textile finish. And as solar text is extremely difficult to find now um, in people's stashes, and Oratex is outrageously expensive, especially for covering a model of this size, I thought I would give a, a go at experimenting with this, which is actually lining material for dresses and garments. It's 100% polyester, it's very lightweight, and it has a very fine weave. So I anticipate that when it's sealed, and in this case I'm going to seal it with uh, a non-shrinking dope, that it won't take uh, excessive coats to do so. Now, as you already probably know, I model in the house and I model on the kitchen table 99% of the time. But even as mad as I am, I'm not crazy enough to open this tin of clear cellulose dope in the house. Experience has taught me in the past that when the vapours come out of here, they seem to cling to everything, clothes, food, you name it. So this will be done outside. Uh, and then what I hope is I will seal round the edge with the clear dope then brush through and I understand that this will actually shrink with heat so that's the experiment part if I can use this uh, as a shrinking covering so until the next stage I'm going to clear out of the house and get this doped and fixed onto the covering and we'll see how it goes there so that's the polyester and now attached to this frame mock-up um, I've simply doped the frame and then doped through the material. There's a warp and a weft to it, so I've tried to keep that in line with the shape of the rectangle. And you would have to do the same with the wing, ensuring that the strongest um, direction, the least pull, is along the length of the wing and not actually placing it on diagonally, for example. But we'll let this dry. It's outside now. And when it's dry, I'm going to try applying some heat with an iron to see what happens. Well, I've set the iron up to quite a high temperature. And if I apply heat, it appears to tighten, but I don't think the frame is strong enough to support, to stop it from being pulled in by the fabric. That definitely looks like it's tightening up to me. Definitely. Yeah, it will tighten. But obviously the frame needs to be strong enough. That is quite pleasing. I think it's got some potential. You can see it's starting to buckle up a bit here. But I think that's due to the fact that the frame itself is so fragile, it's just pulling. Heat. Yeah, definitely tightening up. That's quite a high temperature. Higher than I would apply if I was using it with uh, solar foam, for example. There you go. That works. To the next stage, see if I can seal it. So <clears throat> this is what it looks like after it's had a couple of coats of dope. Um, they were put on full strength. It would have been better, I think, in retrospect, thinning them down. Um, but it's certainly sealed the surface, and I think it's got a lot of potential. The appearance of streaks are actually just because the the dope has gone through some of the surface better than others, but it's certainly got potential, and it's something I'll certainly look into for um, applying covering to the Jungmeister. So that, I would say, is it has loads of potential as a as a covering material for future use. Thanks for watching.